Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Um, I actually have a different video for you guys. Usually I do reselling content, but I thought today I would switch it up and I'm actually gonna do more of a cook with me video. I just recently ordered um, a HelloFresh box. I used to do this a while back and I really liked HelloFresh, but I, didn't, I just, I guess stop doing it. You know, it gets a little costly if you're doing it often or every single week. So I just recently purchased another, or just started back up with my subscription to them. And this time I'm doing two meals in one week. So this week I got, can you read that? Uh, Thai ginger curry, curry, I don't know how to say that. And then I also got bruschetta zucchini boats. Um, today I'm going to make the Thai ginger curry, curry, I think it's curry. Yeah, so I just wanted to, here's a little bag they sent in. I just wanted to share with you guys how this works. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything. That would be really cool if I was. So with the HelloFresh, they give you the ingredients on the side here that come in the bag. They give you a nice big picture of the meal you're going to be making. And the nice thing, it tells you the prep time, the cook time, and then it tells you how many calories is in the meal. So I really like that about it. And then on the back side, we have, it gives you a step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to do it. And then it also tells you what you need to get out. So I've got everything prepped. Um, I've taken everything out. I have the olive, or it said cooking oil, so I grabbed olive oil, um, sugar, some kosher salt, but I grabbed some pink Himalayan salt. I have the butter. And then it asked for a grater and a zester. And these were the best things I could come up with that I have. And then it asked for a small pot and a medium pan. So, yeah. Oops. And then inside the bag, so I have my pepper. We have fresh cilantro, coconut milk, some green beans, a little packet of jasmine rice, a sweet Thai chili sauce, a lime, Uh, they have some veggie, I think this is like a concentrate veggie broth. Um, what is this? This is, yeah, This it says this is veggie stock. And then this is ginger. I have curry powder, roasted peanuts, and they even give you an onion. So the first step is to cook the rice in a small pot. Um, combine rice with three fourths cup of water and a pinch of salt. So I'm actually just gonna take one of these and fill it up three times. It's a fourth cup. One, two, and three. So I'll put this on the stove, get it to a high heat so it can start boiling. So then it, now it's time to prep the veggies. So I have my cutting board. First I'm gonna cut up the pepper. So uh, now I've got the rice in there with a pinch of salt and I am going to Cover it and turn it down to a low heat just so it can simmer. I'll get back to the peppers. They want to be, they want them to be diced. Okay, so there's all my diced, or I diced up the pepper. Next, I'm gonna cut the onion. Okay, 
so I have my onion cut out. Now I'm going to trim the green beans. Then we have the ginger. It says to peel and grate or mince the ginger. Um, I'm not really familiar with how to use ginger. I don't use it often. Uh, but I think I'm going to try mincing it. Um, let me grab a container or a bowl to do it in. So the nice thing about this, I don't remember where I got this, but you can stick like garlic or in this case ginger inside of there. And then you can go like this, and it uh, grates it. So I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, so this isn't actually working out. I'm just gonna chop it up uh, by hand with the knife. Okay, so I think this is the best I'm going to just get it. Um, so here's the ginger. I could keep going on it, but I'm not going to spend more time with that. So the next thing I need to do is I need to zest and quarter this lime. Um, I'm going to take this and zest the lime. And I'm just going to zest it. Usually you don't need it all. Um, I'm just going to do maybe a little more. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm just going to do that much. That's usually you don't need a ton. So there I zested up the outside of the lime. And then I need to cut it into quarters. Oh, what is this? And then we're going to cut up and finely chop the cilantro. And I'm losing, I'm running out of room on my cutting board here. Okay, so here I have the cilantro then chopped up, and so I have everything done, prepped. I've got the ginger here, I've got the lime zest, I have the limes, I have the green beans, the pepper, the onion, and the cilantro. Pretty quick here, the rice is going to be done. Okay, so the rice is just about to be done, uh, I'm just going to... Grab a fork and fluff it up. There. 
there it is. Looks perfect. And this is jasmine rice. This is actually my favorite kind of rice. Uh, we actually eat this here at home quite often. Uh, I'm going to let that sit in the bag for a little bit. Right, this pan. So the next thing I need to do, I need to heat up. Oh, it's still. I need to heat the pan. Um, it says on a medium high heat and I have a gas stove so I'm gonna do I think I'll do uh, five and then drizzle some oil in here and then you want to add in your bell pepper The green beans. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir this up for a little bit so that oil coats everything and coats the pan. We need a pinch of salt. And like I said, I'm using pink Himalayan salt. So this says to cook for four to six minutes. So I like my veggies to be a lot softer so I am letting this cook for more than the six minute mark um it's been cooking now for like seven minutes um I'll probably let it cook just for maybe a couple minutes and I will add the rest of the stuff so it says to add another large drizzle of oil to the pan then stir in the shallots and I called this an onion earlier, but same thing, basically. Stir that in. Then we want to stir in the ginger. Guys, this is smelling amazing. And then we need to do half the curry powder. Curry powder. I keep saying curry, but it's curry. Um, let's see. So I think that was about half. So then you're going to let this cook for about a minute. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is you have to add in the coconut milk. Then I need to add in my chili sauce right here. Going to add in the stock concentrate, the veggie stock.
And then we need juice from half of the lime. And sorry if you hear the noise in the background. My son is playing with his toys. Um, so I took half the lime and I'm just going to squeeze it in there. Um, actually, I have something better. Okay, never mind. I used to have a lime. What was it? It was like a lemon juicer where you stick the lemon inside of it and you can squeeze it out. I'm not really sure what I ever did with that, but I'm just going to do it the manual old-fashioned way. I just squeeze these babies out. Okay. And then I need one teaspoon of sugar. And stir that up. And then I need to reduce the heat to a medium low heat. So I think I'm going to put it on um, probably between the one and two. My uh, the gas stove seemed to get really hot. Um, so yeah, it's closer to low. And I am just gonna let that simmer. And it needs to simmer until the sauce is thickened. It says about four to six minutes. Okay, so while that's simmering, I'm going to roughly chop the roasted peanuts. These go on top of the, the curry. And just a rough chop, so you really don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. Okay, so I have those chopped up, and then we are going to get back to the vegetables and all that okay so it looks like the sauce has thickened up um it does call for stirring in half of the cilantro it does also say that you can uh so you say it says stir in half the cilantro Taste and season with salt and more lime juice if desired, um, which I am not going to do. And then you have to turn off the heat, I forgot to say, while I was stirring in the cilantro. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So that's all done. Now we're gonna go over to the rice. So now we're gonna stir in the lime zest into the rice. tablespoon of butter to put into the rice. This is just over a tablespoon, but I feel like the more butter the better, the better flavor. Maybe not the most healthy, but. So I'm gonna turn off the heat just a little bit to get the butter melted. And I'm just gonna keep it on for a second. Okay, so now it's time to plate it all up. Okay, so I have my two bowls here. And I'm going to take the rice, I'm just going to split it up equally. I'll probably give my fiance a lot more, actually, a little more. Then I'm going to top it off with the curry. That looks amazing. It does look like there's gonna be some extra, which is okay. Add a little more in there. 
Okay, so then I'm gonna, next I'm gonna take the peanuts and just top them off. And then the rest of the cilantro. Okay, so sorry for my red cheeks. It gets really hot here when we cook. Um, so I'm going to take the slime and I'm going to squeeze a little bit on top. And I am going to give this a taste test right in front of you guys. That's really good. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. I highly suggest that tastes so good. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you could go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do do a lot of reselling content, but I do plan on putting out more videos. Um, I really love to cook, so I want to do more cook with me's and... These HelloFresh meals are bomb. So I do want to do more along them lines. And I have been starting to eat healthy. So a big inspiration for me is watching other people on YouTube and what they eat in a day. So I do want to start doing more content like that. I just want to do a bunch of different things. So yeah, if you guys just want to like and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Bye.